Soundtrack. To know whether sinus cavities resonate, we first need to know what sinus cavities are and where they are in your head. Well, firstly, the paranasal sinuses are paired mucosa line spaces in the facial skull. The maxillary, ethmoid, frontal and sphenoid sinuses are anatomically distinct but functionally interrelated. As to whether these sinuses resonate when we speak and sing has been researched and debated for some time. For example, LeBorn and Rosenberg list the sinus cavities as one of seven vocal resonators in their book, The Vocal Athlete, whereas Chapman and Morris in Singing and Teaching Singing write, similar to the chest and nasal cavities, the sinuses are sensation traps, not resonating chambers. This short video isn't going to settle the argument, but it is important to note that typically for most singers, the times when they notice the sinus cavities while singing is during times of sickness. Dr. Tom Harris explains this heightened sensation, writing thickening of the mucosal linings of the nasal cavities and sinuses may alter a patient's perception of resonance but the change is subjective rather than objective. At this point, it might be helpful for you to consider that when we sing, we experience sympathetic vibrations throughout the body. Now, for example, when we sing low, we might feel vibrations deep in our chest, and this does not mean that we can manipulate that sound or use it directly or intentionally to benefit our overall acoustic output. And this is why, despite listing sinus cavities as one of seven vocal resonators, LeBorn and Rosenberg qualify their listing, noting some resonators primarily provide sensory feedback to the singer and are not manipulated in terms of size and shape to modify the sound. Essentially, any space filled with air can resonate. A healthy air-filled sinus cavity will resonate, but we don't have any ability to control that resonance. And yes, a fluid-filled sinus will impact on the physical sensation of your singing, but an audience is unlikely to identify your nasal cavity as being the culprit of any change to your tonal quality. And I would add one cautionary note. If left untreated over the long term, conditions that cause inflammation of the sinuses, such as sinusitis, can cause maladaptive singing habits due in part to how the retained mucus will affect the kinesthetic awareness of the voice for the singer. So, to finally answer the question, do sinus cavities resonate? Yes, but that being said, sinus resonance is by no means a primary contributor to your overall vocal tone. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.